how did some of those gigs come about and what advice might you give to other musicians of getting some of those gigs? Yeah. Well, there's a couple of, a couple of elements to that. The first, the first is, uh, you know, that it's, it's kind of random, really. You know, you can have a, a, a preconceived plan of this is what I'm going to do, right. um, but that doesn't always work. You know, it's, 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 um, so sometimes it's just random. You know, I was doing some, um, some drum workshops in schools this is many, many years ago um, before I'd really done anything. And um, the drummer I was doing the, the workshop, I was doing percussion, he was doing drum set. And uh, his roadie uh, was married to Bjork's manager. So I was doing these workshops that I think actually these are, you know, they were pretty crummy, to be honest. I remember a great big fight breaking out with the kids in one of them. It was like a football match. Was like, I was just doing like heavy duty workshops. I was, at, during the time, I was trying to show them the Arabic Rick, you know, delicate little, little hand frame drum that's very quiet. And it's, you know, the, I'd love to have a video of that because it's just the irony of it. I'm just playing this quiet little tambourine and then suddenly this great big fight breaks out of the way. involving the teachers as well i might have. really oh lovely yeah, education yeah we're doing it right <laughs> anyway the um uh yeah he was so that's how i got the the, the recordings with with uh, with bjork in the in the beginning so, because that, so it's it's random you know you rely on on luck as much as you can you know your skill but what i would say is that you know a lot of people are of the mentality to think oh you know when the opportunity comes along then I'll put the effort in to be, get up to the level. And, you know, that's not the case. You've got to be ready, you know, at any time. Someone comes and pulls you out of bed in the middle of the night and says, look, you've got to do, there's an audition for this band that, that will really would work for you. You know, even if it's the middle of the night, you've still got to play 80%. You know, you still, so you've got to be ready. You've got to put the work in and do all the bodybuilding and all the, all the hard work in your 20s and 30s, you know, younger as well, of course, but that's what you've got to do. Now, the other thing in terms of giving advice to people is that it's such a rapidly changing uh, industry. Like the whole, all at the time, everything's changing. The technology, the way that, you know, performances are, are you know, the way that gigs happen, the, everything's changing the whole, the whole time. You know, studios are going bust right, left and centre here, for right. example, you know. Same everywhere, yeah. So it, it's kind of a difficult thing to say to someone, now, well, this is what you need to do, you know. And, you know, even if you say, oh, well, some people have gone and made themselves, you know, publicly noticeable by putting videos on YouTube, for example, or becoming like an internet uh, sensation with this or that, you know. But then who knows? In I could say, oh, we'll do that, you know, work on social media, do, do all this thing. But who knows, in three or four years' time, there'll be something that comes along that will be redundant and there'll be something different, you know. 